Today, we're gonna find out whether or not we can achieve overall unity using a gas generator component. We'll use a brand new 1500 watts generator. That way we know that all components should be functional. We'll remove all peripheral components and just leave the core generator. We'll fill up with some oil to make sure that the remaining components get the lubrication they need. And we'll drain out most of the oil so it doesn't splash all over the place. We're using a 1 horsepower motor that can spin around 3500 RPM. The setup is very similar to a popular video that's out there of this type that claims oval unity is possible. At this point, the electrical motor is connected to the house outlet. We're testing both the motor and the generator to make sure they work. Now we know that the motor is capable of turning the generator fast enough to produce power. Here's a homemade double pole double throw switch using three-way switches. Here's a circuit breaker that is not needed but it's there for insurance. Initially the power will come through the wall or the outlet and both switches would be on the first position. When the switch is in the second position, they switch the power between the wall and the generator. Here's a diagram. When the switches are in the first position, the motor gets the power from the wall. And when the switch is in the second position, the motor gets the power from the generator. And it failed. Here are a couple of tests that show that this generator does not produce power when it's being rotated under a certain RPM. The generator does not make any power even with the field coil connected to a 12 volt power supply. I was thinking maybe these components have enough friction to slow down the motor during the manual switch over. And on top of that, maybe my reaction was not fast enough. So we're gonna eliminate the manual switch over and cut down friction. We already disassembled the second generator. We can eliminate the crankshaft and the related components. The components were from a 3200 watts generator. It is about twice as big as the first generator. And it makes 120 volts versus 110.
Without a lathe, it's almost impossible to get it centered. But it is good enough for what we're trying to do. This test shows that the motor is capable to rotate the generator fast enough to produce power. And here's our new setup. The power output from the generator is going to supply the power to the first motor. In theory, the motor should turn the generator. And the second motor is powered by the wall outlet. The second motor will provide the initial rotation for all devices. In theory, after the initial rotation, the generator should provide enough power to do the rest of the work. Well folks, over unity using a generator components does not work. The system stalled as soon as the generator started to produce power. That's because the electromagnetic field in the generator produces more load, which requires higher demand from the motor to turn the generator. The demand was higher than the motor can handle, so the system stalled. And that's the end of the testing for today. Please leave your comments below for items to improve or to try. And thank you for watching.